Hardy is a client of mine, but also a very good friend, and he suffered from kidney stones, and also his father has Parkinson's. And we've used the health method for both of those um, issues, and we've also used the laser bioresonance. When we use the laser bioresonance with Hardy, um, he wanted one to use every morning before going to court, because he's a solicitor, and he was sure he had a very clear mind when speaking to the judge. And he was very, um, he was very responsive to using the laser. But also we've had great success with the kidney stones and with his father from Parkinson's. So Hardy's got three different things he talks to you about. He can do the testimonial and he can tell you all his experience. But we've had very good results with um, those three issues with Hardy. Yes, uh, I've, uh, I've had very amazing uh, responses with the system on those areas. Um, with kidney stones, I, um, uh, I, I collect a lot of things. This is something I didn't want to collect. Um, um, I ended up uh, getting quite a number of them, probably because of the late hours I, I, I keep, um, drinking too much coffee and not enough water, uh, there's a fair bit of stress involved in, in the profession. And I just and I ended up getting like nine kidney stones and some of them were 15 millimetres big, which is, which is quite painful, more painful than even watching, say, two hours of home and away in a row. I assure you. <laughs> and um, and I, was, I remember some evenings I was actually on the floor with pain. And um, and it wasn't until I, I saw Catherine uh, about it and uh, went through a couple of sittings. And on the second or third sitting, I started feeling a lot of relief. And in fact, um, some of the stones, of course, had to be surgically removed. I actually had four operations. But one of the, the after the third operation, one of the surgeons who was actually Irish came up to me and says, look, I don't understand. Um, on the MRI, there was, in this particular kidney, four kidney stones, but um, I only found one. <laughs> and I was starting to smile, and I couldn't tell him. Catherine's system uh, um, had actually liquefied a couple of the stones, which was fantastic. And then I would go back for further treatment to deal with the pain and getting rid of the anesthetics and all that other stuff. And some nights I'd, I'd come in if I had something reoccurring and within seconds the pain would go away. And normally you have to take endo. I don't know if people know what endo is like, but it's very nasty uh, morphine based uh, medicine. But I found that I didn't need to take that after getting the treatment with Catherine. So it, it, I can't speak enough, highly enough about the, the, the machine um, and with my experience with the kidney stuff, which again is just one of the worst experiences I've ever had. Now, with, with uh, equally amazing, there's a story with my dad. Dad has had Parkinson's since, since 1986, and he's relatively um, better off than a lot of people because if Parkinson's, you can go straight down. Um, and Catherine and Tom are very kind enough to visit Dad uh, where he's at, and um, we, you know, two or three times, I believe. And on, I noticed on the second or third visit, Dad started becoming uh, more a little happier. He started to speak clearer. It affected his thinking in a very positive way, and he could walk better. And that was a marketable difference in a short period of time, and we'll continue that. Um, but very marketable difference, I noticed. So that was very happy because everyone knows how important our parents are to us, and uh, you know, we want them to be as well as possible. Now with the, with the laser, and it's sort of exactly what Catherine said, um, I needed to kind of clear, clear my mind up because we haven't had a holiday for a while, and you're always working, you know, life can get a bit foggy sometimes. If you start working in the morning and you end in the morning and you do this for several months in a row, it's not too good. So I tried that, the laser, and it was absolutely amazing. I, I reached a, a very kind of tranquil state um, very, very quickly, and that, that actually put me in good stead for a long time. Again, another very good machine and a very good experience for me. I recommend it, and I look forward to the next treatment. Thank you, Harry. And how often do you do the so well, lots of times back from overseas, but before then, quite regularly. Yeah, once a week, once a yeah. week, once a week, once a week. So, and you were here last year also. Yeah. Now, again, for me, always, it's nice to go to kidney stones, going to go away, but it's, you could do this also with like uh, ultrasonic <laughs> way, ways where, as here, I think. In order that something liquefies like a stone in the body, some emotional changes have to happen. Yes? And so this is just a symptom of something on an informational, mental or spiritual level. And do you see, like for example, 
I could see last year the, 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 the was extreme focus on your father, the situation of your father, or anything else that you see something has become more liquid in your in your emotional relating to to things or people in, in, in over this time that you feel yeah you're more more flowing more in a daily yeah. Yeah. yeah see this is this is really the the, the really the deep the, the the thing that we also don't need to talk much about and I, when we do the laser I don't want people to say now I feel this and this has changed but it's always this reason that allows physical symptoms to go away. That's it. If you start somewhere else, and you shoot them with some ultrasonic, you maybe destroy them, but then, my God, now I have to get cancer because I cannot throw it anymore in this way. That I need to have some change. That, that's it. That's how, that's how it works. So, okay, thank you. Let's go for it.